here are seven reasons why you are broke in a profitable roofing industry or any industry for that matter. I travel almost every week. I travel to the best of the best companies in the country, but I also get a lot of DMs, a lot of text messages from guys who cannot figure it out. I see losers in business every single day. Same city, same market, same opportunities. Some people drive their companies to the top super, super fast. Couple years, they're on top of the game. They have employees, they grow, they scale. And right next to them, there are people who just cannot do it and ready to quit, never have money, always broke. I want to explain to you why I think this is the case, why it's happening and I identify, I slept in it, I meditated in it and this is my vlog. I want to give you my opinion, my seven reasons why I think it's taking place, why you cannot be successful. I don't know who needs to hear this, but this is my opinion. If you get offended, go find another channel. This channel is for those who can face the truth and who can hear what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. My first reason is simply laziness. I see so many guys who are wasting their time and straight out lazy. Uh, roofing industry is full of immigrants, uh, full of people who are driven, hungry, and the roofing industry can give you so many opportunities to fulfill your potential. But at the same time, we have a lot of entitlement, a lot of people who just sitting and waiting for the opportunity to come to them. It doesn't work that way. I remember when I was running my roofing business, during the day, many, many times, you know, I forgot to eat. I did not go to the restaurants, but every once in a while, I, you, know, you have to take care of the, your body. I would drop in, in uh, different restaurants. And I've seen so many contractors, contractors, general contractors, roofing contractors, drinking during the day, sitting in the bars, and wasting two, three, four hours of their time. If you have time for day drinking, to waste time. I remember I, I worked with one contractor and while I was doing work, sobbing from him, getting uh, jobs, he was on dating websites, he was on, on the phone 24 seven. If you have time to day drink, to spend hours on Facebook, TikTok, wherever is it that you're doing. Don't blame anyone that you're not successful. This is your problem number one. You're not driven, you're wasting time, you're simply lazy. You know, every single day you have to wake up in the morning, go to work, absolutely kill it, outwork everyone. And if you're not willing to do it, someone will. There's gonna be hungrier kid than you are and will come and get everything. I remember, you know, when I opened a business in 2013, I have a goal to outrank one of the biggest companies in town on Angel's List at the time. It took me two years. In two years, I have 360 reviews and they have 350 reviews. I was the hungriest kid, but I was working five o'clock from five in the morning to 11 o'clock at night. If you're willing to put as many hours as I did or those influencers, those workaholics in this industry, you will go to the top super fast. But if you are gonna be on your phone, wasting your time on the Facebook 24 seven, checking notifications every five minutes, guess what? You will go down. Number two, you're just a middleman. Tons of guys in the business don't want to leverage. You want to work from home. You don't want to own equipment. You don't want to invest in your employees. You don't even want to get a building. You want to play it safe and it's fine, but you're the middleman, you're paper pusher. Your job is to sell the job here, have someone else to find it. That's the category that deserves to be eliminated because people are hiring us contractors to fix the problems. What problem can you fix? The problem is not to find the labor. You have to have a little bit more leverage than that. And when you have that leverage, when you have warehousing, we have vehicles, you have labor force, people are gonna come to you because you have something. Nobody likes middlemen. Nobody likes paper contractors. People like to do business with the real organizations, build an organization, take as much liability as possible. I see this popular opinion that liability is bad for some reason. Well, if you don't have liability, if you're not fixing real problem, why would I hire you? You know, I can do it myself. If you don't owe anyone, if, if no one is your employee, because that, that's the mentality. 
you know, I don't want employees because I don't want to be responsible for them. I don't want a warehouse because I don't want to have a bill. I don't want to buy equipment because it might break. Well, that's fine. Keep working at your house. Don't take any liability, but then don't be surprised why you cannot get a really big project. Don't be surprised why someone is getting million dollar projects and you know you just can't get it. You're gonna be bidding on them. You're gonna be doing the same thing in the door, but people just not gonna trust you because you are just a middleman with absolute no leverage in this business. And maybe that's why you're broke. You hiring everyone to fix your problems. You hire a marketing guru to build your website. You keep throwing money to, for someone to manage your Facebook page, to, do, um, to buy leads from someone. You're not willing to do any work yourself. You think that someone's gonna come in and save the day. It's your business and no one should know your business better than you. Throwing money at the problem will never fix that problem. It might go away for a second, but if you that sucker who believes in every marketing promise, every marketing guru, every guy who comes to you and offers you, hey, I'm gonna give you leads, I'm gonna do this, and you trust them and give money, shame on you. When are you gonna learn your lesson that nobody gonna save your business? You know, roofers are very easy to be sold. That's why we have guys like Joshua Wexman ripping everybody apart because, you know, it's not hard to sell to a roofer. We do have some cash. It's usually not our cash. It's usually deposits that we collected and we didn't produce the jobs yet, but we're sitting on cash. And when someone comes to us and offers this dream, offers this course or this product, we jump on it, we give them money, we think, they're gonna fix our problems. Rarely happens. Stop doing it, guys. Number four, you spend way more than you make. I see so many roofers start spending like crazy first, second year in business. Guys, first two years in business, I was paying myself 60,000 a year and we were doing over a million. I was putting everything back in a business. You wanna be successful? You live be, um, on way less that you make. Time will come when you will be able to increase your salary, live, um, luxury lifestyle but you have to build it first you have to build your company first for your company to work for you and when you start abusing your company on the year one you will be broke it's investment you have to have labor in years for your business otherwise you're going to be broke for years and i see guys who've been doing it for 10 15 years and they're still broke but I see guys who invested early on and now businesses work for them. Number five, you're spreading yourself way too thin, you're doing way too much and you cannot say no to your clients. I see too many contractors doing too much. They're doing painting, they're doing flooring, they're doing drywall, you know, you got a job, a roofing job and the homeowner will be asking you questions like, hey, can you help me with the deck? Can you help me with it? No, this is not your expertise. Doing less is doing more. The most broke contractors that I see is the contractors who's doing everything. They don't understand their numbers. They're being sucked in into this project that will take you forever because you cannot be expert. You cannot be jack of all trades. You cannot be know it all. Know something really good. One or two things, maybe three things. You know, something that hopefully will complement your roofing business or whatever business you're in. But when you spread too thin, you're gonna become jack of all trades and master of none. And this is another way to stay broke. Number six, you cannot delegate. Another big problem for broke people, they think that they are the only ones who can do the work. You're the only one who can sell. You're the only one who can do uh, installation. Well, sorry to break it to you. You're not the only one. You probably a bad leader. You probably have different problems, uh, management issues where you cannot train or build a team to help you to do what you do. Fix yourself, fix that problem. If you wanna build a company, you have to work on yourself. You are the limit of your business. When you open your mind and you work on yourself, when you change yourself and your ways, your company will grow. So if you never have more than two, three, four employees, you are probably the problem, not those employees. You have to fix yourself, change yourself, and you have to learn how to delegate. And when you start doing it, miracles will happen. Now your company starts growing without you. And it's a beautiful thing to have a business that works by itself and you're just overseeing it. 
you still the owner you still CEO, but you don't have to do everyday operation stuff you can work on the business not in the business i'm not talking about getting rich fast or anything like that but i'm talking about sustainability i'm talking about you know i remember when i built my roofing business for the last couple of years it was working by itself my team was pushing me away they trusted me they respect me for what i've built my standard was there my vision was there but i don't didn't have to do all the work i created you know six seven uh jobs there were good jobs for those six seven people who were working for me and they needed and they were working without me in it beautiful thing and the last one number seven is you are not taking your brand seriously and that's why you're broke so many people believe that they have exceptional quality that they're the best option for their consumers i do the best roofs i do the best floors i'm the best guy out there but you are shy you would not turn your camera on and record the message to your people you would not show off your job you would not talk about your expertise you would not educate your people you keep it to yourself you're not building your brand you're not building your brand awareness this day and time you have to throw yourself on the internet even if you're the best of the best you will not be found people will not find you how would i find you if i'm looking for flooring guy right now right someone to install floors in my house i'm gonna google youtube floor guys near me i'm gonna go on internet searching for the floor guys and if you're not there because you did not throw yourself there people are not gonna find you so i see a lot of hard working guys a lot of hard working business owners who are shy who are not willing to do it and they're broke because when you are not investing in your brand when you're not proactively talking about yourself and throwing yourself out there right what's happening is it will cost you 10 times more to advertise you will be taken advantage of and people just not going to remember you're not going to know you so fix that if you want a good sustainable business you have to be bold about it you have to go all in that's all i have for you guys today if you need more information about me and what i do i teach this kind of stuff every single day i consult with people this is my last year as a coach i teach in roofing school uh, you can check it out roofing-school.com i help roofers to become better business owners i will show you how you can go from 1 million to 5 million in just a few years but you have to change your mentality you have to change your mindset stop being broke we have amazing industry there's plenty of money plenty of opportunities for everyone and i don't want you to be broke i want you to build the legacy i want you to change your family tree living amazing american dream it comes with the hard work there is no easy way to do it but there's a few steps that everyone can do not to be broke comment below if this video brought any value to you subscribe to the channel if you're new here i'm gonna put all my information in comments and description below i'll see you guys in the next video